everybody! In today's video, I'm doing something very controversial and you know what? I had this idea and I'm not going to stop doing it just because I may be sued for it. And so I decided to do this even though I was warned a whole bunch on my eyeball video, my eyeball aquarium jar nail video that I did for Halloween that, you know, there's a company out there suing artists for doing aquarium nails and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do this anyway. I'm just, whatever, the chips fall where they may. There's so many other people that are doing aquarium nails that, I don't know, I just, I love them and I feel like I all of a sudden got to a point where I feel like I'm more confident with them, so I'm doing it no matter what. I love this nail. I am so happy I did it. It has a really cute little gel painting snowman underneath, underneath the aquarium, and then there's some little star glitters and some little snowflake glitters that float around him, and it's just so cute, and it's very, like, snow globish, and I love it. So I hope you guys love it as much as I do, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin by fading some silver acrylic down the nail so that it kind of goes from an opaque silver into clear. And I really like this technique with my aquariums. I did one in the autumn for some falling leaves because that glitter can completely hide and then it shows up and it's kind of like this extra layer to the surprise because you don't always see it. And then apply a very thin layer of clear acrylic over this entire nail. So this layer of clear acrylic is almost like a filing buffer so that when you finish file the nail and you do some filing around that little piece that kind of fills in the back side of the aquarium you don't file through it and make it so that your aquarium nail leaks so this is basically like the only point of this layer of clear acrylic otherwise i mean it just kind of does bulk up the nail a little bit so try to keep it as thin as you can while you know protecting your work so after that, we're going to be filing it into shape to remove any extra that there is and just kind of really refining the shape and making sure that it's going to remain as thin and sleek and elegant as physically possible. And now after that, we're going to be applying a layer of some jewelry gel right along the cuticle area because I want this thing to be glamorous and then apply some um, gel sealer or gel top coat over the entire nail and then press a series of rhinestones into it. So the first one I have is like this little teardrop shape and then I have a different like long skinny one and then some little blue ones. I'm just going to do a little variety of rhinestones that I I've loved that have been in my collection for a while, especially those blue ones. I don't use them very often because they don't seem to go with whatever I'm doing, but they're just so pretty and so icy looking. So I was very excited to get to use those. So I'm going to press those into place like that and just kind of fill in however much of the space I want to. And now in a silicone mat, I'm going to be painting a section that's about the size of my nail tip. So I have my nail tip sitting next to where I'm working and I have the color of the Manhattan and that's two coats of the Manhattan and then one coat of the color Tomboy. And I'm just going to, the, so the Manhattan isn't cured and that Tomboy color, I'm just going to kind of brush it in and then use a paintbrush and swirl it together so it kind of looks... I don't know, kind of wispy in the background. And then using the color Perfect White, I'm going to do the first layer of my snowman. So I got the snowman head, and then instead of doing three perfect little circles for the body, I just kind of almost did like a peanut shape, I guess you could say, or like an eight without the middle circles in it. And then taking the Perfect White, add a couple little highlights to the snow that the snowman is sitting on. Do a second coat over the snowman's body if it needs it. It may or may not need it depending on how thick your first coat was, but my lamp is in need of replacement and so everything I do is super thin these days to make sure that it actually fully gears, which is really fun. But I'm also going to take Perfect White and do a couple little snowflakes in the background. And then using the upper east side, I'm going to be doing just some shading on my snowman and that color says that it's almost kind of blue or purple on the website like it's that's how they describe it and I think it's really just a really nice almost kind of like a dolphin gray and I don't think it's very blue at all so I guess that's more of a personal opinion type of thing I guess I don't know but it made really nice little snowman shadows and then I'm going to be doing his hat or her hat with smart ox blood and then the scarf with the color roar so many of the colors in this particular design, both the background colors and then the hat and the scarf have either like a glitter or a shimmer texture to them, which I think really plays well with the aquarium style because it shows up even better and more dimensional once it has that water or oil on top of it. But now what I'm going to do his arms with coffee talk, which is another glittery brown. And then I'm going to do his eyes, his little coal smile and his buttons with the color upper east side again, just as a base. And then I'll add some shading to it later just a little bit of that. So it's just not quite so, I guess, harsh looking. And then with Perfect Orange, I did his carrot nose. And now I'm going to mix a little bit of white into the color Smart Ox Blood and create 
a really nice shading color to add some dimension to the hat. And you can either do one of two things. You can either add some perfect white to your colors to do some shading, or you can add some perfect black. So you can do kind of a highlight option or a shadow option. And either way, it pretty much works out. And I did some of both on the scarf. I mixed in just a little bit of the perfect black to add some of that shading. And now with just straight up perfect black, we're going to be doing the outlines. So anywhere that you just feel there needs to be an outline, go ahead and add it. You don't have to overdo it. One of the things that I like about snowman art in particular is that a lot of times it can have almost a fuzzy appearance to it because many times when you're looking at a snowman, it's from a distance and if there's flurry in the air, it kind of blurs the vision and a snowman can very easily blend into just like a gray sky. So there doesn't have to be as much precision as there might be for some other designs. But if you want to do black outlines, I am certainly not going to stop you. I love black outlines. So now I'm going to squeeze a line of Ice Blossom, which is Madame Glam's clear poly gel over the entire little painting. And then I'm going to take the little poly gel sculpting brush that they have, and I'm going to pat it out. And as you can see, the clarity of that ice blossom color is absolutely incredible. And so you don't really have to worry about it kind of, I don't know, you don't have to worry about it messing up your painting, which is an issue with normal like poly gels that I've used, like the gelish poly gel, is that it would not look this clear and this... I don't know, uninterrupted as far as what your painting will look like. So spread that out so it's nice and flat, as flat as you can get it, as smooth as you can get it. Before you cure it, we're going to be applying a layer of no wipe gel top coat over the entire little poly gel piece. So make sure that this is well covered so that it is not sticky because if it's sticky, it's going to get your glitter stuck. And then press the nail into that wet poly gel top coat slimy mix and cure it just like that. And then after it's cured, you can peel it off your silicone mat. And as you can see, you have this little cavity and this little painting background. And it's so easy to do because that poly gel will seal up your aquarium with like, it's no mess. It's so simple. It's so easy. And it's the most hassle-free aquarium I've ever made. And then I'm going to use Madame Glam's little nail file pen drill thing. I don't know what, you, drill pen? I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. They're little mini handheld e-file. And this e-file is not as high powered as like, I mean, obviously as like a full size e-file is going to be, but it worked really well for doing just like this little cleaning up on the sides. I'm going to smooth it out just a little bit more though with a hand file to make sure that it is even more straight edged and i'm going to be dropping a few snowflake glitters into the cavity and then a couple different little star glitters so i've got a couple shades of blue that i'm doing for that so i've got darker blue and a lighter blue and i'm going to use a little bit more ice blossom to begin filling in the structure of the hole so i'm going to fill in first completely but then before i cure it i'm going to take something very pointy for me that's the tweezers that was next to me that i just used to put my glitters in there and make a hole in it after that's cured, I'm going to fill a syringe with some water, put that into the hole and fill this up as full as you can. It is a little hard to see because you're filling it up behind that silver. And so I ended up with a pretty decent sized air bubble because I assumed it was full and it was not, but you know, live and learn. And then I'm going to be, after it's kind of cleaned up and dried off, apply a little bit more ice blossom to plug the hole. And then I'm going to just, after that's cured, do a finishing layer of the no wipe gel top coat over this entire nail. So I'm going to go all the way up to those rhinestones I have, and then over the front, all the way down, over the back, over the tip, you know, whole thing. And that is it. This is done. If it weren't for that air bubble, I would say this is my favorite aquarium I've ever made. I am so proud of it. I absolutely just, I adore it. And I love the way the snowflakes fly over that snowman. And he's just so cute in the background. So I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I also hope I don't get sued, but we'll see how this goes. Maybe this video will be taken down in a couple weeks. Who knows? But yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.